Hey everyone, I'm T.M. Sparrow, writer and homeschooling mom, and today I'm going to tell you about why I decided to homeschool my daughter. Homeschooling your child can be a lot of work. Sorting through curriculum options, planning everything out, and then actually teaching your child. Sometimes I feel like I'm drowning in it all, and I only have one child. But despite the pressure and the workload, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's definitely not for everyone, and I am incredibly grateful that we live in a time where we have so many options for educating our children. Homeschooling my daughter is a privilege that I'm lucky to have, but sometimes people wonder why I made this choice, especially since it does take so much time away from my writing. Well, here are the five main reasons why I decided to homeschool my daughter. Number one, freedom and flexibility. I love being able to do school on our own terms. And the freedom and flexibility of homeschooling allows us to take advantage of opportunities that we wouldn't have with public or even private schools. For one, we can take family trips any time of the year without having to worry about missed lessons. But also, if I get sick or if Ava gets sick, we can modify or even delay lessons without having to worry about any consequences. Plus, almost any trip can be used as a lesson. We've used audiobooks on the road for lessons, and we've even stopped at museums, zoos, and aquariums on the way home from dance competitions. Plus, when Ava was doing dance, we were able to schedule lessons around her classes and there was no homework to have to worry about. Number two, customized education. I think most homeschoolers would cite this as one of the reasons why they made that choice. I love being able to follow Ava's interests for school. For example, Ava is fascinated by Robin Hood right now. So we've been doing a lot of reading and research about him and about the historical era that he is associated with. So we've gotten to learn about the Crusades and Richard the Lionhearted, and it's really been a lot of fun. Right now, Ava's career aspirations are to be a paleontologist. So we've been doing some research into what areas of study would be beneficial to pursuing that kind of career. So I'm keeping that information in mind while I'm planning and preparing for her next school year. Of course, she is only seven, so that might change eventually. But right now, it's still going to be a lot of fun to learn about those things that are associated with paleontology. And I mean, <laughs> she's already asked to go to the Smithsonian to see the coelacanth fossils for her birthday, so we'll see. Something else that I love about the flexibility of homeschooling is being able to spend as much or as little time as we need on a subject. Math tends to take a little bit longer, but she's already reading on a fifth grade level. So we're able to do second grade level math and fifth grade level reading, which isn't something that's typically done in public schools. Number three, I get to spend more time with her. One of my favorite parts of homeschooling is that I get to spend more time with my daughter. She's intelligent and funny and so, so sweet. She really brightens my day, and I'm honestly not sure what I would do if I was sending her to school for eight hours every day. I know that time away from me is good for her, and I definitely try to make sure she gets that, but eight hours a day, five days a week, 
feels like a lot. Especially for someone like me, who cried when her daughter turned five. I do want to be clear here, because I know how these things can sometimes come across, but I absolutely do not believe that this makes me any better or worse of a mother than anyone else. Some moms do need more space from their kids, and that's perfectly fine. Motherhood is not your entire identity. Number four, no early mornings. Public school starts way too early for me. Even when I was in school myself, the early mornings were rough. And these days, I don't get up until like 9.30 or 10 o'clock. So the thought of having to try to get up and get moving and get Ava moving so that she can be at school by 8.30 in the morning just sounds like a nightmare to me. It's one thing to get up and get going for something you're excited about, like a road trip, but doing it day in and day out for school all year, I'll pass. Number five, she's too much like her parents. You know how some parents have a reputation for saying, I hope you get a child exactly like you one day. Yeah, I got that. Ava is a perfect blend of me and my husband. She's intelligent, easily bored, and hyperactive. And just one of those can make school difficult enough on its own. I struggled in a regular school setting usually because I already knew the work and that made everything so boring. And I was never good at making myself do the boring work. So because of that, my grades were always low. And because my grades were always low, I never qualified for any of the gifted and talented programs, despite my outstanding test scores. And in my early years, my schools didn't do much to help me. I had teachers who complained about how much I would read ahead of the class, and I ended up having to repeat the fifth grade because my grades were so low, even though the problem was actually just that I was bored. I don't want Ava to have to struggle like that, so I keep her at home where I can make sure that the work is on her level. Like I said, she's pretty smart. Sometimes too smart for my own good. And I can already see that she tends to shut down if her work is too easy. I like being able to keep her challenged. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against public schools in general. It's extremely important to educate our kids. And some children including my niece, thrive in that environment. I just don't think that it's the right fit for my child. We're really very lucky to live in a place with so many options for educating our children, even if our education system in general does need an overhaul. So that's why I decided to homeschool my child. I don't know if we'll keep going all the way through high school. We're just taking it year by year right now. But as long as she continues to thrive at home, we'll keep going. I'd love to hear from you guys. What topics would you like to see me cover next? You can let me know in the comments below, or you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. And if you want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting new videos on Thursdays. See you next time.